In ancient Egypt, healing practices were an intricate blend of medicine and magic, where physical treatments and spiritual rituals intertwined to form a comprehensive approach to health and wellness. This point is central to the topic of medicine and magic healing practices in ancient Egypt, as it highlights the unique duality in Egyptian healing practices. The ancient Egyptians did not see a distinction between the physical and the spiritual realms. Instead, they believed that health was a state of harmony maintained through the balance of both bodily and spiritual elements. Medicine involved practical treatments based on empirical observations, such as the use of herbs and surgical techniques, while magic involved incantations, amulets, and rituals performed by priests. The significance of understanding these healing practices is profound, as it provides insight into how ancient cultures interpreted health and disease. It sheds light on the human tendency to seek both scientific and supernatural explanations for life's challenges. One specific example is the use of the Edwin Smith Papyrus, an ancient medical text that contains surgical procedures and trauma care techniques, showcasing the practical aspects of Egyptian medicine. Conversely, the Ebers Papyrus reveals medical knowledge interwoven with magical spells and remedies for various ailments, illustrating the role of magic in their healing paradigm. Opinions on the integration of medicine and magic in ancient Egypt often highlight the sophistication of their medical knowledge, which was advanced for its time. Some scholars argue that their understanding of anatomy and surgical techniques laid the groundwork for future medical practices. However, potential challenges arise from alternative viewpoints that perceive the magical elements as mere superstition, dismissing their cultural and psychological significance. Controversies also exist regarding the efficacy of treatments that relied heavily on spiritual practices. Skeptics question the real impact of magic in the healing process, suggesting that psychosomatic effects may have played a significant role, while others argue that these practices were vital in providing comfort and hope to the sick. This intertwining of medicine and magic in ancient Egyptian healing practices significantly influences other aspects of the main topic by demonstrating the culture's holistic approach to health. It reflects a broader narrative in ancient societies where spiritual beliefs were seamlessly integrated into daily lives and medical practices, influencing their understanding of life, death and the afterlife. Understanding this balance between empirical and mystical elements offers valuable insights into how civilizations develop complex systems of medicine that cater to both the body and spirit. The historical context of medicine and magic in ancient Egypt is an intriguing blend of scientific inquiry and supernatural belief, painting a vivid picture of how ancient Egyptians approached healing and health. In ancient Egypt, medicine and magic were intertwined disciplines. While the Egyptians possessed a sophisticated understanding of anatomy and herbal remedies, they also believed that supernatural forces could influence health and illness. This duality in their approach underscores the importance they placed on both empirical observation and spiritual intervention in their healing practices. The significance of understanding this historical context lies in its demonstration of how ancient cultures navigated the complexities of health and disease. By recognizing both the practical and mystical aspects of their practices, we gain insight into the holistic nature of their medical system, which is a precursor to modern integrative medicine that combines conventional healthcare with alternative therapies. One compelling example is the Ebers Papyrus, a 20-meter-long scroll dating back to around 1550 BCE, which serves as one of the oldest surviving medical texts. It contains hundreds of remedies and spells, illustrating the seamless integration of magic with practical treatments. For instance, it includes prescriptions for ailments ranging from digestive problems to wounds, often alongside incantations intended to invoke divine protection or healing powers. Another example is the role of temple priests, who often acted as both physicians and magicians, utilizing their understanding of the body alongside their spiritual authority to treat the sick. These priests relied on rituals, such as invoking specific deities believed to have healing powers, thereby merging their spiritual duties with medical care. While many ancient cultures viewed illness as a purely physical condition, the Egyptians acknowledged the psychological and spiritual dimensions of health. However, this synthesis of magic and medicine also presents challenges. 
Some modern scholars criticized the reliance on magic as unscientific, arguing that it hindered the development of more empirical approaches. Additionally, there exists a tension between viewing these practices as purely superstitious or acknowledging them as early attempts at psychosomatic treatment. Despite these controversies, the Egyptian approach to medicine significantly influenced later medical traditions, including Greek and Roman practices, illustrating the profound impact of this blend of magic and medicine. Understanding this connection helps illuminate how ancient beliefs about health and the supernatural continue to influence modern medical thought, especially in areas that explore the interplay between mind, body and spirit in healing practices. In ancient Egypt, the roles of physicians and magicians were not only distinct, but also deeply intertwined within the societal fabric. Physicians known as SWNW were highly respected practitioners who relied on empirical methods, including diagnosis and surgery, to treat physical ailments. Magicians, or Heka, wielded spells and rituals believed to influence spiritual and physical health, drawing on a rich tradition of magical literature. The coexistence of these roles underscores the dual nature of healing in ancient Egyptian society, where medicine and magic were considered complementary rather than contradictory. This dual approach was significant in that it reflected the Egyptians' comprehensive understanding of health as a harmonious balance of physical and spiritual wellness. By addressing both the tangible and intangible aspects of illness, they ensured a holistic form of healing, which was crucial in a world where spiritual beliefs and daily life were intricately linked. This combination of healing practices illustrates the unique ancient Egyptian worldview where science and spirituality were seamlessly integrated. One notable example of this symbiosis is the Edwin Smith Papyrus, an ancient medical text that includes both medical and magical treatments. It demonstrates the pragmatic approach of Egyptian physicians, offering surgical procedures side by side with incantations aimed at expelling malevolent forces believed to cause illness. Another example is the use of amulets and charms inscribed with protective spells. These were worn by individuals to ward off diseases and were often recommended by both physicians and magicians alike. These examples highlight the practical applications of their harmonious relationship, ensuring well-rounded care for the populace. There are opinions that support this dual system, emphasizing its effectiveness in a time when the boundaries between physical and metaphysical were blurred. However, challenges exist when considering this from a modern perspective. Some may argue that the reliance on magical practices reflects a lack of scientific understanding. Yet this viewpoint can undermine the cultural context in which these practices were devised and deemed effective. The relationship between physicians and magicians provides valuable insight into the broader topic of ancient Egyptian healing practices. It demonstrates how cultural beliefs shaped medical practices and influenced other aspects, such as religious rituals and societal values. By examining this dynamic, we gain a deeper appreciation for the rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian life, where healing was a comprehensive journey addressing both the body and the spirit. In the intriguing realm of medicine and magic, healing practices in ancient Egypt, the techniques and tools used in healing represent a fascinating confluence of empirical practices and mystical interventions. At its core, this concept refers to the diverse methods and instruments employed by ancient Egyptian healers to treat ailments and promote well-being. These practices were integral to their society, reflecting a unique worldview where magic and medicine were intertwined rather than seen as opposing forces. The significance of this point lies in its illustration of how ancient Egyptians approached healthcare through a dual lens. Techniques and tools were not solely based on physical interventions. They often included spells, amulets, and incantations, underscoring the tight weave between spirituality and health. This holistic approach highlights the cultural belief that physical illness could stem from supernatural causes, thus requiring a multifaceted treatment strategy. For example, one prominent technique was the use of the Edwin Smith Papyrus, a medical text that detailed surgical procedures and remedies, showcasing the Egyptians' advanced understanding of trauma care. This papyrus reveals the practical, skill-based side of their healing methods, emphasizing diagnosis and physical treatment. In parallel, the Ebers papyrus offers extensive information on magical spells and herbal remedies used for various ailments, illustrating the seamless integration of magic into medical practices. 
Ancient Egypt's approach garners support from historians who argue that this blend of magic and empirical techniques was advanced for its time, contributing significantly to the development of early medical practices. However, challenges arise in the form of modern skepticism, with some critics viewing the magical aspects as unscientific. Nevertheless, others highlight that these practices laid foundational stones for a more comprehensive understanding of health that accounted for psychological and spiritual dimensions. This dual approach influences other aspects of healing practices, such as the role of the healer, often seen as both a doctor and a priest. It also impacts the societal perception of health, where communal rituals and personal health were connected. In conclusion, the techniques and tools used in healing in ancient Egypt serve as a compelling example of how ancient civilizations navigated the complex terrain of health, blending the tangible with the mystical. This duality not only provides insights into their cultural paradigms, but also prompts reflection on how modern medicine might benefit from a more integrated approach to healing, acknowledging the power of belief and the mind-body connection.